Hi, this is Paul, and I'm going to show you how to set up a workspace and a team collaboration site so that you can share Power BI files among members of your team and manage version control. Now, we'll discuss the nuances and the differences between version control and build processes and DevOps uh, between a business intelligence project and an application development project and how those are different experiences in another post. But let me show you how to work with this tool the way that it was designed to be used. If your organization uses Office 365, you have all the tools that you need. First thing is to go to the Office portal at office.com. Click on the app uh, menu and choose SharePoint. And here we're going to create a new site. I'm going to choose the team site template. And uh, this is going to be for my Contoso sales projects. We'll go ahead and give the site a name, Contoso sales project and click next. Now the only other thing I really need to do here is I need to add some users as owners to this site. Now you can uh, add uh, a, a, an office group or you can add users later on, but I'll go ahead and add a couple of users and we'll finish. So that creates the site in SharePoint Online. So here you see my new site. Now, what happens is in Azure Active Directory, a new group is created for this site. I don't need to do anything extra, but you're going to see that here. Now, in the Power BI portal, I'm going to create a new workspace. And uh, this is going to be my development workspace. Now, depending on the formality of your project, you could have a dev, a test, and a production workspace, or you could just create one or perhaps two workspaces. This is going to be my dev workspace. And here in the workspace settings, I'm going to choose the Contoso Sales Project group that was automatically created for my site as my workspace OneDrive group. So that gives every member of that group access to this shared space and gives me the ability to sync files with this workspace now. So let's go back to SharePoint Online and view our team site. Since the site was just set up, you'll see it show up at the top of my most recent list. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder that I can sync with my desktop so that I can share files with other members of my team. So we'll go to the documents library within the new site. And here I'm going to add a new folder. So of course I, I get this, uh, uh, you know, welcome to the new site splash screen, but here I'll click new and folder and we'll give the folder a name. So this is going to be my Contoso Sales Project Files folder. So we'll create that folder. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, configure that to sync with my desktop. Now each member of your team can do the same thing, which will then put uh, copies of the um, files within this folder onto their desktops. You always want to use Power BI um, from a local uh, file folder. So there's my, my um, synced folder on my desktop now. It's probably a good idea to add that to my quick launch bar or add it to my favorite so that I can get to it quickly. And so let's go ahead and put a uh, PBIX file into this folder. And this is where I'll go to um, do all of my Power BI uh, development work in the future. So I have an existing project that uh, I'll go grab some files from. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm, I'm just going to add a PBIX and designate this as my data set file. In another post, I'll talk about separating data sets from reports, which is something that I routinely do, especially in larger, more formal projects. We'll go ahead and just copy and paste a PBX file and then rename that file. 
eventually I'll have one data set PBIX file and that will contain all of my data. And that's what this file is for. It has a report with pages in it now, but you'll see that when I make a change to that, it immediately syncs, which you can see in the OneDrive app. So if you just click on the OneDrive icon, you'll see that that will sync up. This is a fairly small file, so it goes pretty quickly. Back to the workspace now. I'm on the data sets page and I'm going to click get data and then you'll see the files tile. I'm going to click get and that's going to show me that there's a new tile here, OneDrive, and then there's the name of my team site. We'll click that, takes me to the team site where I'll see the folder that I had created. Click that, now I see the PBIX file and I'm going to connect which actually imports that file. But in doing it this way, it's going to keep that file synced up. Any changes I make will be automatically deployed. There's no more need to deploy from Power BI Desktop. This file will remain synced up all of the time. So here you can see that I can open this up and I can view my reports. I can uh, set up a gateway. I can set up scheduled refresh and all of the things that I would normally do with a Power BI file if I had deployed it from desktop. But in this case, it's going to remain synced up through that um, SharePoint Online folder, which is synced up through the OneDrive for Business application. So this is all automatic. Now, I'm going to open up desktop and just make a simple change, save the file, and we should see that it automatically gets synced up. Now, I'll do that a couple of times, and then we can go take a look at the automatic version control that takes place through SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. I'll just mention while we're opening this up that OneDrive for Business is actually SharePoint Online. When you created a team site, it essentially created a OneDrive for Business uh, folder and then that subfolder I created I'm syncing up with my desktop so that's how all of that magic happens here you can see I just got an alert um, and an invitation from uh, OneDrive for Business that welcomes me to the site uh, I guess it's from SharePoint and uh, so each member of your group would automatically get this invitation which then gives them a link to the folder that I've shared with them so here you can see, I've just changed the views to large icons. You can see the little green checkbox that shows that that is synced up with my desktop. And uh, if I go and make a change in um, Power BI Desktop, so again, always open the PBIX file from your desktop, from the synced folder, rather than from the SharePoint site through your browser. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of change that I make. Uh, I'll just go to the data model diagram view and uh, we'll just, just make a change here. Uh, so if I just move a table around, and imagine I'm adding a measure, adding a relationship, adding another table, anything uh, that would constitute a change that flags this file causes me to be prompted to save it. So now we go back, notice the little sync icon, which I'm going to get for a few seconds in this case, because it's a small file. Now it's synced up. After making changes, always close Power BI Desktop, which then releases the file so that it can be synced up. That will happen automatically. You can watch the progress here in the OneDrive app. And if this were a large file, you'd see a little progress bar and it might take a couple of minutes for that to sync up. And then all members of your team will see the new file. Here in the file system, you can view online, which will then take you to the SharePoint library. And then you can use the ellipsis menu next to the file to lock the file to check it out and then you can use version history as I'm doing here and you can see that every single change generates a new version of the file. If I have admin access as I do here, I could choose a version and I could restore or revert back to that version. You have complete control here. And so this gives us a really good version control story for Power BI, gives us the ability to collaborate as members of a team.